so I begin by releasing tensions in my body and my mind and coming back to my breathing. Breathing in, I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I'm breathing out. Taking refuge in the breath. And now I look at my posture. So see if you can sit a little bit more on your thighs and not so much on your buttocks, not on the fleshy part of the buttocks, but really more on the thighs. So that there's an ever so slight leaning forward. And in spite of that forwardedness, see if you can release tensions in the body. Maintain a relatively upright posture. And just very lightly tuck the chin very slightly in so the back of the neck is elongated. Now see if you can bring the whole front of the body in your mind, bring it slightly backwards. So it's almost like you're receding backwards rather than projecting forward. And whether the eyes are closed or open, do the same thing with the eyes. Allow the eyes to just relax back towards the back of the skull. Let that movement backwards towards the spine open and widen the whole back. In the waist, let the abdomen be hollow and the waist wide. In the chest, let the chest be soft and the back of the chest wide. So let the shoulder blades sort of fall back into the back and down with gravity, but widen away from each other. Keep coming back to that spot between the shoulder blades to widen it. It's a way of softening the heart. So coming back behind the heart and widening, hollowing and widening, softening. Let your eyes relax and see if you can connect your eyes with your chest mentally. You're looking down to the chest, but not with the front part of the eye that we normally use, but with the underside of the eye. So there's a connection. See if you can perhaps maintain that or perhaps do that every so often. So with this posture, with this softness, and with my breath, with the refuge of the breath, I connect to the suffering of people throughout all of time. People who've gone through wars, I connect to the suffering of famines survivors of earthquakes, droughts, the fears of people imprisoned, suppressed, raped,
I just keep opening up space within me, coming back to widening that spot between my shoulder blades when I feel overwhelmed by this suffering. And I keep opening. being in touch with parents who've lost children, children who've lost parents. I observe all the dreams that are crushed throughout millennia, time and time again. I see potential never getting fulfilled throughout history, generation after generation. This planet has suffered and continues to suffer. I just open up, touching that suffering, touching the back of my heart, opening my heart, bringing it all to the back of my heart between my shoulder blades, softening, breathing, embracing. I keep softening and opening, touching suffering throughout all ages. And whenever a wave of suffering is overwhelming, I come back to the area between my shoulder blades, softening and widening there perhaps lengthening the back of my neck slightly more and reestablishing the connection between my eyes and the hollowness of my chest.
I now connect with all the suffering on this planet at this time. People who are hungry, people who are thirsty, animals who are hungry, thirsty, cold, fearful, animals being hunted in factories waiting to be slaughtered or milked. I look at people in refugee camps opening up to touch their hearts. I touch those who are homeless, those who are sick, those who are dying, those who are fearful that their dreams will not come to fruition. I touch the immense suffering throughout this planet happening right now. And I keep opening up my chest, my heart, making more and more space. That spot between my shoulder blades widening has infinite space within it. I just have to generate length and width within my own body and I can absorb all the suffering of this world. Maintaining the space within myself, a feeling of hollowness, in spite of absorbing, I am still hollow. I look at the ocean. The ocean is turbulent in some places, 
calm and shining in other places. I just observe the ocean and the currents of the ocean. Sitting on my Mount Sumeru, observing the ocean of suffering of the world, opening up to the suffering and seeing that this ocean full of suffering also continues as life. This is also the ocean of beauty, of love, of compassion. This is also the ocean of joy. I open up to all the suffering. And then I allow myself to submerge myself in the ocean of suffering. And still, I am on Mount Sumeru, sitting. <laughs> 